standing, dude, it would be real hot. Join our main soccer practice. That was 20 years ago. Right. Is that when the store opened? It was about 20 yeah. years ago? Yeah. Okay. And that's the last yeah. time you were here? It was the 11th store we opened. Wow. And I remember, my partner and I, we just felt something great about Seattle. Yeah. And I think was it you know it was after that grunge and Nirvana and right, cool music right, right. same thing and fashion thing. I think I like Seattle fashion because I don't know what it is. I think it's very individual. Hard to define. I yes. I I think it's um it's very New York to me here in a great way in that the energy the new and the old the. The, I don't know, the modern, contemporary, hip, cool, it's got this edgy fun to the city right. that uh, I think New York in its kind of scary competitiveness, yeah. it doesn't have, you haven't lost it. You know, I don't think anybody lasts in business if they don't sell. And I just had this dream that there was this customer out there that was similar to me. I mean, not maybe full tilt me, but, you know, I really wanted to be a dancer, so I have this costume sense about me more than real clothes. But I didn't want to know about the business and be normal real clothes. And I still, it was a big fight this year to stick to doing my kind of clothes. And you lose, oh, I go on and on. You lose faith in, is there anybody out there? That song from Floyd. Is there anybody out there? So, boy, Seattle just makes me realize there are my people, or whoever they are. The secret to your uh, your success for so long, for 40 years. How have you been able to just keep reinventing yourself and stay in the industry? I don't know. I'm going through a writer's block at the moment, so I'm vintaging a lot in Seattle. I did a couple great stores yesterday and a couple more today before the airport. You know, I think it's not about the clothes, it's not about what you make, it's do you like doing it every day. I mean, you kind of like this, right? It's, it's just loving it. And I think that's what makes the difference if he stays around and he disappears. It's, it's talent and all that, but it's really how much you love it. And for me growing up, I realized it's not just me that's doing it. It's me and the people around me and the people helping me and working with me. How did the cartwheel get started and how long do you continue? will you continue that? Oh, I always will be able to do a cartwheel. It's, me. it's getting a little crooked lately, but it, it's a very easy thing to do. Right?